Hello dear students, welcome back. This two marks question is from the topic of recursion and is from gate 2009 exam. You need to find what will be the output of this program. So let's start executing it. Now you very well know that execution of a program will begin from the main function. That means main function will be called automatically. So this function is called and whenever any function is called, a activation record will be pushed on to the stack corresponding to that function call. Suppose this is the activation record of main function, okay. Now main function will start executing line by line. First line is int x is equal to 50. That means we are trying to declare a variable that is named x and it has a value 15, okay, like this. Suppose address of this variable is 9193, okay. It can be any address. I have just taken any random number. Okay. Now, the next line will be executed. That is printf person d backslash n fun 5 comma and x. Here, you are calling this function fun. Whatever is returned by this function call is printed. So, let us see what are the values that we are passing. First value that we are passing is 5. Second value is and x. And x means the address of variable x. So it is 9193. That means 5 and 9193 they are passed. Okay. Now this function will execute. It will be executed completely and something will be returned. That is printed as an integer. Person D means integer. That means whatever is returned that has to be written on place of this and it will be printed. That means after coming back from this function call, we have to resume execution from this line only. So I'm writing that suppose this is line number k. So I'm remembering that after returning back from this new function, we have to resume from line number k. That is the reason I've written k there. Okay. Now, whenever a function is called, a activation record will be pushed down to the stack. Suppose this is the activation record that is pushed for this function fun. Okay. All the local variables of this function fun will be declared here. Now this function is called. That means control will go to this function here. Its return type is integer and we are trying to print integer. So things will work perfectly fine. Okay. Now inside this function, there are two variables n and fp. So these are the local variables. They will be declared here. This is n and this is fp. fp is a pointer to integer. So this memory location can contain only addresses of some integer. Okay. Address of some integer can be saved here. And we are passing the values 5 and 9193. So 5 is given to n. This variable n gets 5. And fp gets 9, 1, 9, 3. Okay. This means fp, it is pointing to this variable x or this memory location. Okay. Now in next line, we are trying to declare int t and f. That means two local variables, they are declared. First one is t, second one is f. Okay. And both of these, they are integers. In next line, we have written a if condition. If n is less than or equal to 1. No, n is 5. 5 is not less than or equal to 1. This condition is false. That means we can skip this block. So we'll directly jump to the next line. That is t is equal to fun n minus 1 comma fp. So here you are trying to call a function. Suppose this is line number j. This is line number j. A function is called. So control will go to that function. Whatever new function is called. That new function will be completely executed. Whatever value is returned by the new function. That is assigned to t. That means after coming back from the new function call. After returning from the new function. We have to resume from line number j. So I am writing that we have to resume from line number j. Okay. Now see, 
this function is called what are the values that we are passing value first value that is passed is n minus 1 n is 5 5 minus 1 means 4 so 4 is passed and fp what is fp fp is 9193 9193 is passed now see don't get confused if you have written fp this means 9193 if you have written star fp that will mean the value saved at address 9193 that is 15 okay see we have directly written a variable that is n so you have taken what is present inside n similarly here also you have written some variable fp just take what is present in that fp it's simple okay don't get confused now see this is a function call and you are passing these values whenever any function is called an activation record will be pushed suppose this is the new activation record all the local variables of new function will be declared here that means n and fp will be declared here so this is n we have passed 4 to this n and this is fp we have passed 9193 to this fp this means it is also pointing here only okay now this new function will start executing from its first line when all of the lines of this function are completed we have to come back to this function only and we'll resume from here okay anyways now let's start executing this new function from its line number one that is int t comma f so t and f are declared then we have a if condition if n which is 4 is less than or equal to 1 this condition is false that means directly come to this line this line says whatever is returned by this function call assign it to t okay again some function is called let us see what are we passing to the new function we are passing n minus 1 that is 4 minus 1 3 and fp fp is 9193 so 9193 this has passed now when this function has completely been executed whatever value is returned we have to assign it to t that means after executing this function when we come back we have to resume from line number j only so i'm writing j here like this okay to the new function the values that we have given they are n is equal to 3 and fp is 9193 only okay which means fp points to this location for this function also now first line in this function is trying to declare t and f t and f these variables they are declared then this condition is still false you will come here only so this time the values that the values that will be passed they are 3 minus 1 2 and 9 1 9 3 okay so 2 and 9 1 9 3 is passed to a new function this new function will be executed line by line and when it ends we have to come back here only and we'll resume from line number j so i'm writing line number j here okay now see we'll go to the new function that means a activation record will be pushed from here the control will go to the new function so activation record is pushed local variables they will get some values that are 2 and fp will get 9193 okay like this now see again first line will declare t and f still this condition is false we will come to this line and again a new function will be called so new function will be called means again activation record will be pushed n will be 1 fp is still 9193 only okay this time we have passed 1 and when we completely execute it we have to come to this calling function and we have to resume from line number j only okay now from here we have passed 1 and 9193 okay so n and fp got these values first line says declare t and f so t and f these are the variables that are declared if n is less than or equal to 1 n is actually 1 
that means this condition is now true so you will enter this block so this block says star fp is equal to 1 that means whatever is the value at address fp fp is 9193 see this is also pointing here only okay like this star fp means value at address 9193 has to be updated and the new value will be 1 assign 1 to value at address 9193 that means earlier it was 15 now it becomes 1 okay the next line says return 1 this function is returning 1 which function will get that value it's calling function that means this one obviously this function has called this one so this function it will get a value 1 what is to be done with that value see first thing is because we have executed return statement so its activation record it will be popped this activation record is popped from the stack now this function has returned a value 1 because we executed return 1 who will get that value its calling function That means this one. So at this line, the value 1 will be given. Whatever was the return value, we wanted to assign it to t. That means variable t is going to get that value 1. Okay. So this variable, it will be updated with 1. Okay. Now we have to just come to the next line for this function. This function was executed till here. So now next line is f is equal to t plus star fp. We are trying to update this variable f with the value t plus star fp. What is t? t is 1. 1 plus star fp. fp is 9193. Star fp is 1. Okay. Star fp means value saved at address fp. Address fp is 9193. That means this address. Value saved here is 1. So 1 plus 1. Okay. Now this is 1 plus 1. It is assigned to f. That means f now becomes 2. Next line says star fp is equal to t. This means the value at address fp has to be updated with t. t is 1. This 1 is saved here. Okay. So earlier it was 1 and now also it will remain 1 only. Okay. See fp is some address. Writing star means value at that address. So fp address means 9193. That is this address. Writing star means value at that address. It is updated with t. Okay. Next line says return f. f is currently 2. So I am writing 2 here. This function has returned 2. Now executing 2 means, sorry, executing return means activation record will be popped. Okay. Like this. Activation record has popped means all of the local variables they are deleted. That pointer fp is also gone. Okay. Now this value 2 will be given to its calling function. That means this one. So we'll resume from line number j. That means line number j gets a value 2. This is line number j. For this function line number j gets a value 2. That means we are trying to assign 2 to t. This is variable t. We have t here. And t gets a value 2. Okay. Like this. Now come to the next line. It says f is equal to t plus star fp. t is 2. 2 plus star fp. Star fp is 1. Sorry, 2 plus 1. So 2 plus 1 is 3. We are trying to assign 3 to f. So this f, it gets a value 3 like this. Okay. Next line says star fp is equal to t. That means here say whatever is t. t is 2. So x is updated to 2 like this. The next line says return f. So return whatever is saved in f. This time we are returning 3. Okay. So I am writing 3 to remember that 3 was returned. Return means delete it. Delete the activation record. Now what was returned? 3. What has to be done with this 3? This 3 will be given to this calling function at line number j. Okay. 
सो दिस वॉज अ फंक्शन कॉल इट रिटर्न थ्री सो असाइन दैट थ्री टू टी दैट मीन्स इन साइड दिस एक्टिवेशन रिकॉर्ड फाइन टी एंड गिव इट दैट रिटर्न वॉल्यू ओके सो थ्री इज गिवन टू टी नेक्स्ट लाइन सेज एफ इज इक्वल टू टी प्लस स्टार एफ पी टी एस थ्री स्टार एफ पी एस टू थ्री प्लस टू मीन्स फाइव दिस फाइव इज गिवन टू एफ नाउ नेक्स्ट लाइन सेज स्टार एफ पी इज इक्वल टू टी स्टार एफ पी इज इक्वल टू टी मीन्स दिस विल बी अपडेटेड विद वैल्यू थ्री सी एफ पी इज नाइन वन नाइन थ्री स्टार एफ पी मीन्स गो टू एड्रेस नाइन वन नाइन थ्री एंड टेक द वैल्यू दैट इज टू अपडेट दिस वैल्यू विद टी सो टू नाउ बिकम्स थ्री नाउ जस्ट रिटर्न एफ सी लास्ट लाइन इज रिटर्न एफ दैट मीन्स दिस टाइम वी हैव रिटर्न फाइव what has to be done with that 5 5 will be given to this t okay then next line is f is equal to t plus star fp that means 5 plus 3 which is 8 so f becomes 8 next line says star fp is equal to t that means this will be updated and 5 will be saved here so 3 now becomes 5 like this okay then value 8 will be returned okay so i'm writing that 8 is returned now see entire stack is empty this function returned a value 8 8 will be given to its calling function that is the main function what has to be done with this 8 it has to be given at line number k this is line number k that means we got 8 here okay so we have written print f person d backslash n 8 it's very similar to writing person d backslash n 8 because fun returned 8 that means we are trying to print 8 so 8 is printed this is the output they were asking what is the output of this program we have seen it as 8 next line will be executed what is which is return 0 and this program will end okay have a good day